Welcome to a session about data growth and the fact that many IT organizations are struggling with a flat IT budget. We know from conversation with customers that insights to data and information is key for the digital transformation and becoming a data-driven organization. And for that reason, line of business are asking CIOs to take care about all the data that they are creating and they want the CIO to make data wearable so they can analyze and get insights and information out of data. Let's start by looking at the data growth. We know from conversation with Gartner Group and IDC and 451 and similar co companies that data are growing really fast at the moment. We are coming to the point where we in 2020 created on a worldwide basis around 64 setabyte of data. All of that needs to be backed up, needs to be kept and made awareable for line of business in an organization. If we now look at what, how we have been doing that for the last 20 years, what we have been doing is to create what we call a SAN infrastructure. The SAN infrastructure is one that gives access to storage systems that you have in your data center. This is where you are saving all your data. This is where we are protecting data. We make it a wearable and we give it back to you at a very high speed. Applications are connected to this infrastructure and this is where application gets the data. When it comes to what we call unstructured data, we have offered what is called a file, file service so you can keep data in your data center. And lately, we have been offering object storage to our customers to give access to data as well. This is a really proven architecture we've used for 20 years. And you have the possibility to have it in a redundant data center, maybe even in a third data center. So if you're hit by a disaster, you can actually continue having access to your data in your data center. All of this is really good. But can we continue with that infrastructure when we have a flat budget and we know that the data growth over the next three years is going to be much higher than it was in the past? We know that in the next three years, we're going to create as much data as we created the last 30 years. So we have seen that customers are beginning to look at an alternative to what is called the on-prem. And in the alternative solution, we are looking at what we call public cloud. Public cloud does give you a possibility to allocate capacity to your production environment. This one here is delivered by AWS. It can be Google or Azure as the three biggest companies delivering capacity back to the data center. The really appealing thing is that you only pay a small fee per month per gigabyte. So you don't have to do upfront investment like you do in your traditional environment. This is where you have sunken uh, capital. You cannot take that capital and use it for innovation or buying new software, starting new projects, do transformation of monolith application into modern application and stuff like that because you have put your money into that infrastructure in your data center. But shifting into cloud, it's more flexible. It also offer a solution where you can flex up and you can flex down according to your need. So when you don't need it anymore, you just delete it and you don't have to pay a fee on a monthly basis. But we know from conversation with customers that these solutions, they come with some concerns. And the concerns that customers are telling us about is basically one, security. Compliance officers are a little bit nervous when data is not on the continent you stay on, but maybe on a different continent. They want to be in control of data. We know when we look at the cost that the price per gigabyte in public cloud has been frozen since 2015. It's the same gigabyte price you pay in 2021. When we look at the 
a traditional data center, every two years you get twice as much capacity for your money. We are following Moore's law and give you that benefit. But in public cloud, it's actually terminated. You don't get that benefit at all. So there is a concern about security, cost, performance. In some cases, it doesn't really perform like having it on-prem. In other cases, it's OK, but it's adding complexity. Manability is number four, and maybe the most important one is data migration. Yes, you can spin it up and you have access to capacity, but how about moving data into that public cloud? Do you have the right capability in your organization? Do they know what tools they need to use to move it in? It's adding complexity to the organization. So the question is, what is the alternative to public cloud? The alternative to public cloud is what we call private cloud. And in private cloud, you basically get the same kind of infrastructure as you have in your data center today. It's delivered by a black box and it's located in your data center or in a co-location close to your company. It can be delivered by a vendor like Hitachi Ventara or maybe one of our partners or service providers that can deliver that to you. In that black box, you get, as an example, virtual storage as a service. You get the same as you have in your infrastructure, but you only pay for what you're using. So you can spin up capacity to your production environment when you need it and simply give access to data and to storage in your environment. You can add file service, object storage, whatever you like to this solution here. You can even look at what we call infrastructure as a service, which means that we can deliver a black box called App First Infrastructure. And App First Infrastructure will help you with modernizing your application and will break down silos in your organization between application developers, operational people, and security people. This is what we call DevSecOps, that you actually break down and now they work together on a solution and create apps on this app first infrastructure, which is fully automated. It could be a SAP environment, it could be an Oracle environment, or it could even be a VMware environment where you spin up virtual machines and take it into the cloud or back into the data center if this is what you need. But you pay only for what you're using and you get an SLA. In this solution here, we have what is called a web page. And that web page is running in public cloud. You log in, you ask for more capacity, it's automatically allocated to your environment by the partner, the service provider, or Hitachi Ventara that gives you that capacity. You're only concerned about the web browser and when you need things and when you don't need it anymore, you simply just delete it again. These type of solution, they are actually taking care about your security, your cost, your hard performance, your manability, and also what is called help for data migration into that platform here. It's actually going beyond the public cloud model by giving you these extra capabilities. So we have done more than 1,200 assessments around the world of enterprise data centers. And what we have learned when we look at the traditional way of dealing with the infrastructure, that your utilization rate is not that high. You're actually buying more and you keep it for free for the use you expect to be there the next three, four, five years out in the future. By shifting into a private cloud, you're saving money. When we look at these 1,200 assessments we have done of different data centers in the world, we can see that the average reduction of total cost of ownership is 33%. That amount of money is something you get free and you can use for innovation, other projects that you have in your organization so you can deal with all that data growth that is coming around the corner. If you want to have 
some insights to what is going on in the business, recommendations, guidance, reach out to me or read some of the blogs that I have created or some of my colleagues close to where you live or maybe even partners or service providers that we are engaged with. We are here to help you and I hope that I gave you something to think about and perhaps even inspired you to take the next conversation with us.